everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. Today, we have a very exciting parcel to open. <laughs> I've had to wait a couple of days to open this because I've literally looked like a thumb uh, the past couple of days because I've been doing uni work. But I know what this is, so let's just go ahead and open it because I can't wait. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Oh my god. 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 Shit. <laughs> no, hang on a minute. I like this. Oh my god. So it is Heartstopper Volume 4. Oh my gosh. Okay. So if you have been on my channel for a long time, if you've watched some of my videos, you'll know that Heartstopper is my favourite graphic novel series, one of my favourite series of all time. And Volume 4 has very kindly been sent to me by the publishers, which is just like absolutely crazy to me like I I actually can't believe it I actually can't believe it and so I thought I can't wait to read it like I know I can't wait to read it and it's not really it doesn't really fit in any of my upcoming video plans so I just thought let's just do a dedicated quick reading vlog for it like why not it's only gonna be like 10 minutes long this vlog probably but this is my child <laughs> she is exquisite I love her I love her and I love her even more. And so I just felt like I needed to do a reading vlog for it. So that's what we're going to do. This is the fourth in the series. Um, if you don't know, this is a graphic novel series where these two boys called Nick and Charlie meet and fall in love. You know that going into it. And so I don't feel like it's easy for me to spoil the other books necessarily by where they are in this book you know they're gonna meet and fall in love like you know that going into even the first book but i'm still gonna describe the plot of this to you when i read it because like i said i don't think i don't think the plot necessarily spoils these books that's not necessarily what it's about but yeah i cannot oh my god just looking at it i can't believe i'm holding it in my hands i can't wait to read it <sighs> okay so what i'll probably do because it is a graphic novel it's so quick i'll probably read half and then we'll check in with each other and then we'll read the other half. And I'm just so excited to just sit here and read this. Okay, so that didn't happen. <laughs> As you can see, it's now a different day. I don't know what I was thinking trying to film that video that day. I had like three days until my final essay was due for uni. I was stressed. Um, so I couldn't relax. I couldn't, I couldn't really enjoy it. I was like sitting there like thinking about my essay and thinking about all the stuff I had to do. So I put it down, I put it down and now I finished uni. <laughs> I can't really celebrate because it doesn't really, it hasn't sunk in. Like, I don't believe that I'm done. Like, the fact that I'm done with, like, academia for, like, my life. My life? Like, what? Right in here. I can't believe that. I actually can't believe that. I can't really believe it. But anyway, I'm done. So I submitted my final essay yesterday and now I can just relax and read. So I feel like this is the perfect book to reward myself with finishing uni. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start it again. I think I only read that much. So I'm gonna start again and then read again to halfway and I will actually check in with you at halfway this time. <laughs> Okay, I actually got quite emotional at the bit I just read. I almost cried, but I held it in. It's just so beautiful. And the way that so many different types of re relationships are represented in this, it was particularly a relationship between Nick and his mum and a conversation they were having and how reassuring she was to how he was feeling and the way he was feeling. It was just so emotional. Like it really... <laughs> So in this, they both want to say, I love you to one another. They've kind of reached that point in their relationship. 
they want to say I love you but they're scared and they both think like the other person doesn't feel like that and Nick is going on holiday for three weeks and so they're both nervous about that it's like the longest they've ever spent away from each other um and they're nervous about how they're going to cope with that basically it's just beautiful like it's just the power that that has, the intelligence that that has, the clearance that that has. The way that this is written, I've always said it's very hopeful. So we're also dealing with Charlie's eating disorder, which has been explored in other volumes a bit, particularly the last one. But if you've read Nick and Charlie, which is a short story, which I believe it, that came out before Heartstop ever came out. And that is set like after the whole graphic novel series in that we know that Charlie has had an eating disorder. Um, and so you go into this knowing that that's gonna happen and it's kind of at the start of that now and them trying to work through that together. And Nick, I guess this is mild spoilers, but like you can't really spoil this, I don't believe. Anyway, uh, if you care, you can click on. <laughs> it's not mild spoilers for this, but it's mild spoilers, I guess, for the other ones, but not really. Cause like I said, if you've read Nick and Charlie that came out first and so you know this stuff is coming. Anyway, Nick is trying to like help him and try to find out more about it. And he's like reading up a lot on like what he can do. And he's putting a lot of pressure on himself to like almost fix Charlie, which isn't something that one person can do no matter how much you love them. And the way that that is being explored is really touching and and but hopeful you know like whenever there's really sad and difficult topics discussed in this or just you know hard topics not necessarily sad ones but also just hard ones it's always discussed with this like hopeful attitude but even though like charlie's quite a pessimistic character charlie's always like th there ain't no hope <laughs> the tone of the book as a whole even though like charlie may be worrying about things or whatever is hopeful for the future and i really enjoy that it's just a beautiful story i just love them like the, the facial expressions in this are oh my god hang on this is a great example look at him look it's so cute meet a charlie spring you are my ride or die you're on my home skillet biscuit you know what i mean and let me tell you this if a bitch ever tries you bitch if a bitch ever tries you bitch let me know and i just love it it's so it's so fun being back with these characters i just love them so much i just love them so much so i'm gonna go <laughs> i'm gonna go carry on reading and i will talk to you when i finished it and i'm just i just can't wait to read them all. oh my god it's like so beautiful how everything is being talked about and described I love it so much. finished it and I'm gonna give it five stars okay I was never gonna <laughs> I was never not gonna give it five stars like I was never gonna give it less than five stars but it was perfect I can't believe there's only gonna be one more I can't believe there's only gonna be one more of this and I really scratched my head and I wonder where's God when you need him that's like not fair I I need 20 volumes I'm not happy <laughs> I'm not happy <laughs> So the second half of this definitely got even heavier than the first half, um, still with that kind of hopeful attitude, but um, it was definitely a lot heavier, I think, than anything we've had yet in the graphic novel series. Um, it really delves into mental health and Charlie's eating disorder. Um, and just the way that's discussed is like very, very emotional. Like I wasn't expecting it to quite go to the extent in discussing it that it did, but it was it was really helpful because it discussed it in a very realistic way. Um, I'm sure we've all, like chances are we've all had experiences with our mental health. Alice Oseman always does an incredible job of um, handling mental health, but also I don't know how to describe this, but it's like it's handled in a way where we're all gonna like mess up when we talk about mental health or various disorders and stuff. Um, and I feel like it's done in a way that recognizes like it's not perfect, but like let's talk about it. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, I just I love the way that she discusses all these heavy topics. Um, with this like lightness to it and with this recognition that it's very real it's just it's just so realistic to what 
young people go through and I just thought it was so emotionally impactful. Nick and Charlie have my whole heart. This is generally like my favourite series ever. Like if you haven't read these, please do. Like they are just incredible. I'm obsessed. Mild spoilers for this volume now, if you don't want to hear, you can click off. I really didn't expect it to go with uh, Charlie having to go to a psychiatric hospital and that's not something I've, re I've really read about before in a healthy way, like in a really delicate and healthy discussion around having to go to a psychiatric hospital. Yeah, nothing I've read about in that way before and I really appreciate that and I think it could have, it almost could have shied away from that and not discussed that, that topic, but I really appreciated the discussions that it had around that. Oh, also, this isn't spoilery, so like the people who didn't want to hear that one spoilery thing I'm missing out, <laughs> but I love Tori Spring in this. Charlie's sister Tori is from the book Solitaire, which I read and I didn't love, but I love her character and the way she acts in this and is so supportive towards Charlie and like looks out for him and is just fucking savage. Like Tori is very like one note, like very like deadpan and there's some stuff that happens at the end. I'm like, you are a fucking icon. You are everything. You are the love of my life. <laughs> She's incredible. She's a beautiful person. Her talent and brilliance is beyond. That is one of my thoughts on Heartstopper Volume 4. Thank you again to the publisher for sending this my way. I literally cried when I got the email. <laughs> like a couple of weeks ago saying that I was gonna receive this. I really can't believe it as someone who has been such a massive fan of the graphic novel. And yeah, I hope, I hope, I hope um, you all go and pick this up. If you haven't read the series yet, go start the series. If you've read the other three and need to pick this up, go do it. Cause it was just, I think it might, I think it might be my favorite. I think that's a big claim. I'm not sure I can really make that, but it may be my favorite so far in the series. Can I say that? Oh my God, that's a big statement. Anyway, um, <laughs> I think it may be my favorite and I loved it. Five stars, incredible. And if you've gone to the end of this video, comment, comment a dog emoji, any dog. We did cats in the last video. <laughs> comment a dog emoji because Nick has two dogs and they're really cute. So comment any dog emoji if you got into the end of this video. Let me know what you thought of this if you read it and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye.